Greetings from Porkfest. It is Saturday. It's probably about four or five, and recently there was a little flag controversy. Earlier in the day there were other flag controversies uh, from different people. Um, I suppose this could be a Porkfest that has been marked with flag wars. There was, uh, I guess, a burning of a U.S. flag last evening that was, from what I understand, it was not well attended. Um, but had a few enthusiastic people there that were interested in expressing that, expressing a burning of a flag. Um, there's been a man who has a four-wheeler, and he has a Confederate flag flying from the back of it, and he's dragging behind it on ropes. Uh, he had he had one flag earlier this morning, I saw he had two flags. Um, one of the flags that he had, uh, that he was dragging behind, was a UN flag. And it was actually a no UN flag, because it had like a Ghostbusters no sign through the the uh, corona and the, the map that's in the middle of that blue flag. And the other flag he had was allegedly an ISIS flag. I don't know if it was legitimately a flag that people who call themselves ISIS fly, um, but the person was dragging it and there was um, a man who was Islamic uh, with his family and he was sharing food. And when that man drove by, he actually, I didn't see him do it, but uh, he allegedly had cut the flag off of the back of the man's four-wheeler and so that he was very disrespected by the man dragging a flag that had the name of his prophet and his god on it. And he said even though it's an ISIS flag and he considers that a disrespect, that it's more disrespectful to be dragging something like that around. And he said that he would be fine with him burning it, but he wasn't going to permit uh, someone to be dragging around something that he had uh, faith in in front of him. Uh, fortunately, there was no further conflict. I believe the man drove off who had the Confederate flag and that was the end of it and uh, the man with the uh, food distribution stand had the flag just on a table there at his stand and said he can get it back. Or he said he would return it to him later, but he didn't want to see him dragging it. So just now, that was a few hours ago, maybe uh, about two hours ago, and just now uh, there was a person who was a recent mover to New Hampshire who uh, has a big truck with a lot of bumper stickers on it, and he was dragging a U.S. flag, the red, white, and blue, behind his uh, car. and. Uh, he wasn't really honking or getting attention from people, but I knew him and I went by and he spoke to me and I said what they were doing was interesting. I decided I'd document it and I got out my camera. And uh, as I got up towards where the bathrooms are, I noticed there were people, presumably who live at Rogers or here without, uh, not as part of Porkfest, that have campers, uh, were pretty upset. They started yelling out, asshole, coward, come back here, uh, when that truck kept going. And I think it was a good idea probably for the truck to keep going. Um, I don't know if they were necessarily intent on committing violence, but because they were saying things like coward, get back here, um, maybe implying that there may have been some sort of physical confrontation. I think a best case scenario is everyone could have talked about their different ideas and perspectives and, you know, left respecting each other's ideas and perspectives, but it's possible that because tensions were so high over this symbol to people that uh, an intelligent conversation might not have actually happened. Um, myself and another person, like a few other people there, did try to speak with the people that were there about, you know, let's try not to get too heated over a symbol, and if you respect freedom of speech, then you respect their right to say something or do something that you don't like that won't physically hurt you. Um, there were some people around who assumed that because I was documenting it, that I had somehow authorized or uh, engaged in putting that flag there, and I didn't. I just happened to see it going by and popped out my camera. Um, but yeah, it is interesting that in 2015, that is such a contentious issue as is symbolism and what people do with symbolism. Because um, I think there's a lot more real-world things going on that actually harm people that aren't symbolic that should be addressed first. And I would like to think that people should put their focus there. But um, yeah, human rights are, of course, important, and some people see the U.S. flag as a protector of human rights, and others see it as an oppressor of human rights. Um, I tend to side with it's more oppressive of human rights than protecting. Um, it certainly protects or, or is acts in the name of protecting some people's human rights, but I'd say it really goes more to violate all of those people's rights, even those that it claims to protect. I think an ideal uh, governmental, or not really governmental, but an ideal organizational entity would not be concerned as much with where people were born um, or what their geographic allegiances are so much as their human rights allegiances and their propensity to believe in uh, justice and uh, e equality as far as quality of rights. Um, so yeah, I figured that was just something that was worth documenting here at Porkfest 2015, is the flag controversies. And uh, what's interesting is that I haven't seen a lot of flags flying around 
um, the campground as much. Usually you see lots of flags, anarcho-capitalist flags, uh, other anarchist type flags, um, Gadsden flags. I mean, sure, people have lots of flags, but uh, there do seem to be a little less of them this year. There's a lower, lower attendance, uh, seems to be less vendors this year. Um, but otherwise, uh, symbols, I mean, they really are powerful, aren't they? At least to others. I, I'm shocked by the, the power that they have, so to me it's, it's surprising and interesting. Um, let's try and respect or disrespect all others equally. Or, you know, try and lessen the, the disrespect aspect and try and uh, respect others equally would be a good step in the right direction. But uh, hopefully, you know, people aren't too offended and won't be doing anything uh, rash or or uh, wrong, like engaging in physical a physical act over a flag or a symbol. And uh, just remember that people are more important than symbols.